The Cryoice Cryosphere probe is intended for use in blocking pain by temporarily ablating peripheral nerves. The probe has an ergonomic handle design, which provides for ease of use and comfort during cryoablation cycles. The reinforced proximal shaft provides rigidity at the level of the incision points, such as a trocar, robotic service port, or thoracotomy. The bendable distal shaft is designed to be bent up to 180 degrees with a provided tool while maintaining the ability to deliver adequate pressure to the intercostal nerve. Cryosphere's braided insulation technology is designed to prevent damage to non-target tissue. The 8mm ball tip is designed for application in minimally invasive procedures and facilitates placement on the intercostal nerve. The Cryoice family of probes includes an active defrost feature, which allows the probe to be easily removed from the cryoablation site. The Cryosphere probe is available in two lengths, 11 inches, in addition to an 18-inch version, for applications where a longer probe is needed to reach the targeted intercostal nerve ablation sites. The Cryosphere probe shaft is malleable and supports forming by the user via the supplied tool. Here, a trocar access point is being opened and the Cryosphere probe is inserted. Cryoablations are performed on the intercostal bundle, which contains the vein, artery, and nerve. Locate the nerve in the incisional intercostal space, preferably at the margin of the innermost intercostal muscle and the membranous portion of the internal intercostal muscle. Choose a location that is proximal to the lateral cutaneous branch, but at least two centimeters from the ganglia and four centimeters from the spine. Gentle probe pressure should be applied throughout the cryoablation cycle. Before entering freeze mode, always confirm the placement of the ball tip is as desired and there is no undesired tissue contact with the ball tip or shaft to prevent unintended cryoadhesion and or cryoablation. Cryoablations are performed for 120 seconds at roughly negative 65 degrees Celsius. The nerve structure consists of the epineurium, perineurium, endoneurium, and axon. Once frozen, the tubule structures of the nerve remain intact while the axon degenerates from the site of freezing distally. This is called Wallerian degeneration. Cryoablations are performed two levels above the highest incision, at the level of the incision, and two levels below the lowest incision. Take note not to cryoablate above the third intercostal space due to proximity of the sympathetic trunk or below the ninth intercostal space due to risk of abdominal muscle bulging. Once the two-minute cycle is complete, the active defrost feature initiates allowing the probe to be easily removed from the cryoablation site. Several days following Wallerian degeneration, the axons start regenerating within the tubule structures of the nerve at a rate of one to two millimeters per day, eventually reaching and re the full length of the intercostal nerve. Cryosphere the coolest innovation in pain management.